1980, an accident during maintenance on a Titan II ICBM in a silo in Arkansas resulted in the missile's first stage exploding. The explosion blew the 740-ton concrete hatch off the silo and launched the second stage into the air. Where it then exploded, the re-entry vehicle containing a 9-megaton nuclear warhead landed 100 meters away from the silo, but it did not detonate. The explosion spread a lot of nasty hypergolic fuel about, the Titan II being a liquid-fueled rocket, necessitating a lot of cleaning up before the land was detoxified. The silo was filled in and buried. If the warhead's safety features had not worked, the explosion would have essentially have been a surface burst. Inside the silo, the concrete hatch, having failed to contain the explosion of a few hundred tons of fuel, would not have contained an explosion equivalent to 9 million tons of TNT. This explosion would have left a crater 200 meters deep by 800 meters across. The fireball would have been 6 kilometers across. The shockwave would have destroyed buildings out to at least 10 kilometers from the silo, and the heat would have set fire to everything burnable in line of sight out to 20 kilometers at least, depending on conditions, and left any exposed skin with third degree burns out to 30 kilometers. Now, that was in 1980. The Titan II was retired a few years later and the warheads placed in storage until the U.S. and USSR signed a treaty limiting the number of warheads each side can have in the O.